Hey, welcome to this video. I'm gonna try something that I've been wanting to try to learn to do for a while, which is make a flute out of either paper or cardboard or cardstock. So I'm gonna use this um, cereal box. So this isn't drying very quickly and it's still really sticky and that's, I'm tired of waiting. So also, um, also I wanted the bore to be a little um, narrower so I got this pipe and I covered it in this um, plastic bag. I think I'm gonna tape it on, but um, cause see it's, it's longer than it needs to be. So it can be taped at the ends. Okay, I'll be right back. The um, string wasn't working too good, so I just decided to tape it. And I think I'm gonna try pulling it out of this. <sighs> Cause I don't think I need it anymore. I was hoping this would come out. <laughs> I don't know if it will. I know, I'll stick a dowel in there. There's a little left in there, but... <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. So here's this so far. Um, I can kind of, I can get the, a, a note out of it, but it's not as low as it should be for how long it is. It should be more like the, the one octave below that. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to put some holes in it and then see if that changes anything. I also need to decide how long I actually want it to be because I made it longer than I initially intended. So yeah. Okay, so 
I'm not sure exactly what to do because uh, these are the same length and um, I changed the bore size. Well, they look pretty similar, but they, um, they're actually, this one's a little bit smaller in real life. Um, so, because I was hoping that it would make this flute sound higher pitched. Um, but I don't really understand all that very well. I need to re learn about it, but in any case, this note here, I played this to a YouTube video of the flute that I was modeling this after, and it, um, this note is the sound, the pitch for, so, sorry, this whole thing should be cut off to the sound of this note. So it's too low is what I'm trying to say. So I was going to try to fix it with this one, but this one uh, is even lower, I think. Let me check. Yeah, so this is even lower. Um, it is easier to play than this one. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Well, I decided I wanted it to be uh, in tune with the instrument that I was trying to make. Uh, Hito Yogiri. So, um, I shortened it to the length that I thought it, I mean, I shortened it a little and then played it and then shortened it a little and played it, matching it with the YouTube video. And, um, so now it's, uh, the right overall tone. Um, and it ended up being that much shorter than the first one I tried to make. I mean, I made. Um, so I don't know, since the holes, the measurements I got don't seem to be working for this bore size, I just guessed where to put the next, all the other holes, sort of. So like, when you make a shakuhachi, the, um, the fourth hole is just a little bit towards the top from the middle. So I just estimated from there. So I cut a hole, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna check it, and if it's too low, then I'm gonna make it bigger. And if it's too high, then I'll have to put tape over it or something like that, which isn't ideal, but I don't know where to put the holes. So this is the only way I can figure it out that I know how. I was able to get that pitch matched as well as I could. Um, and it was a little flat, so I enlarged the hole. So. Now, I'm going to try to figure out the other ones. I'm just going to figure out the rest and then come back when I've got it. Okay, so I was going along making holes and then tuning them to the YouTube video. Um, things were going okay. Then I got to this hole and uh, it was flat, so I enlarged it. And I, as far as I know, if you enlarge it more that way, this is where the top is, it makes it higher more. Um, so I was trying to do that. Well, what happened was it made it so that it, for some reason, it's a lot harder to play it all closed. I got to where I can do it, but see, I, before I could just play it right away. Anyway, I don't know why that happened. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut the fifth hole and just see. I really don't know. That is, I've never had that happen before. I don't, I have a guess that since it's so close up here and I ended up making it so big, that might be a problem. Like if I had made it smaller, but farther up, maybe that would have, I don't know. But that's how things go when you just goof around, have fun and try stuff out. 
but um, I'll be back once I cut the fifth hole and see if it's playable at all by that point. Okay, so I tried a new thing. <laughs> I don't know if this is the time to be experimenting, but I made a square hole. I got tired of cutting these round holes. Um, although, one thing I'm happy about with this technique is see how well those layers, um, right there it's coming apart, but otherwise those layers stuck together really well, way better than this version. So my um, impatient rolling it up around the thing made a much tighter cylinder, which I like. Um, overall, I wish I could get those low notes. I don't. I don't know if I like messed with the bore inside if that would help, but um, this is this is how it goes for me. So that's the thumb. You know what I'm gonna try? Um, this part here isn't really covered with um, anything. And so it's just kind of like the raw cardboard. So I'm gonna try putting tape over it and seeing, it, cause it, maybe my the moisture from my breath softened that up and maybe that's why it, I'm having trouble. I'll be right back. Okay, so that didn't work. I don't know. Let me try it this way. I could almost get it for a second there. <laughs> That's not the right note. Anyway, it was fun. I mean, it's really too bad that it, because it plays, it played so well before I cut these, this hole. And then this hole. I don't know, that's weird, but I mean, I definitely am, like I said, I had fun making the, these two. Can't believe they worked at all. I hope you enjoyed watching me goof around and have a little bit of fun. Um, please check out some of my other videos if you like me exploring, making weird, random stuff. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.